For those who feel enough is not enough and failure is not an option. For those, there is Gamma Labs PTF, the next generation pre-workout supplement. John, talk about uh, being back here in this gym, man. Does it bring back any any memories, good or bad, for you? Yeah, super good memories, man. I, that's on, that's just crazy the feeling when I get when I come in here, man. It's like super nostalgic, man. I'm looking at the mats and I'm just remembering all the good times, man. I mean, we had a, that was a great experience. I didn't realize, man, until like actually just today in here, man, like how blessed I was to spend six weeks, not 13, man. That's a little <laughs> too long, but six weeks, man. It's like to miss some. I learned a lot, man. I'm I'm real thankful to even just be reminiscent right now. And talk about since then. I mean, you've, you've just had the opportunity to fight twice since then. What, what's it been like? I mean, are you where you thought you would be, or has it been a little frustrating along the way? Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I can't call it. I guess I didn't really have any plans set out for what I really wanted to do after the show. I guess I was just kind of playing it all by ear. So I'm super thankful to be right here and back in front of the cameras and for this spot. It looks like it's all kind of, you know, happening fairly decent, you know. I'm still with the UFC and... Yeah, no, it's a, it's a work in progress, man. I learn constantly, man. And yeah, man, I think I think I could have foreseen myself being exactly right here. If I really thought about it. <laughs> I wonder what 2011 was like for you, because you just had one fight. It was a loss, you know what I mean? It just seemed like you didn't get to advance and really take advantage of the momentum you had coming off of the show. So what was it like? Mentally, was it a struggle for you? Or what was it? Yeah, I mean, I... Uh, I, I pretty much slowed my momentum down myself, man. I, I, I derailed myself and kind of just, I don't know, man. I just couldn't, I couldn't focus, man. I couldn't see the, the goal. I didn't really have any goals, you know. I didn't really know what to do next, you know. I know that my job is to be a fighter and stuff, but sometimes, you know, it can be left for a guy like me a little bit unfulfilling, you know, at times. You know, I want something that, I want something to fight for, you know, rather than just fight to fight. And now I feel like I definitely... Um, have come to a place where I know that I need to fight in order to get to where I need to go in life. So now it's more of a necessity, more than just, more than anything. It's, just, it's a nice place to be, man. It definitely fuels some fire. What is that goal? You said you need something to fight for. What, what is that? I, you know, just, just needing a little life goals and ambitions, you know, things that I, that I want to do with myself, things that I want to do for other people, you know. I definitely want to get this uh i'm really into nutrition right now man i just think that there's this this concept of health that i think is pretty um derogatory um it create, you know and in our society i feel like there's a lot of help that, that that could be lent to people um as far as just uh information and things like that and i'm one of the the walking uh you know i'm one of the walking test subjects you know I get to live the lifestyle and I, get, and I want to be able to make people a little bit happier you know and heal them you know because I know that through fighting you know I've caused a lot of damage to myself emotionally and physically you know and I've learned through that how to make myself feel better and I know I can offer that to other people now. So really fighting is just kind of like a vehicle for you to offer this message in some ways. Oh yeah man yeah definitely man and I have to be great at fighting in order for this message to mean more to people you know if I suck then people are going to be like ah forget what he has to say you know so it's very important for me to do well so that I can speak to people and, and, you know, help them out. Having been here before, has any of the guys uh, from the current house, did any of them tap you as a resource at any point, maybe leading up to this during the season or anything, or have they leaned on you now? And if so, maybe what have you told them? Um, not, I mean, because you, you're talking about the guys in the house yeah. right now, I mean, they, they, they're not even out really, you know, so they haven't really been able to speak to anybody. I just met Mike uh, Kiesa, man, and he's awesome, man. He's just like Cody McKenzie, man. They're like, just <laughs> awesome, man, having more of them in the world, man, so that's cool. But I knew Mike Rio, man. Mike Rio was my college roommate, man, so that was a small world, man. He, uh, so I just seen him last night. We were roommates in college and just went and did our own endeavors, man. He was an awesome wrestler, and, um, so it was nice to see him, you know, make it here as well. Just saying, it was cool, man. It's just like, you know, it's really, really exciting. So yeah, I mean, but you know, they they haven't. They are. I I, uh, I don't know who I was talking. I think I was talking to somebody. Yeah, with um, the, one of the Brazilian guys that was in the house. You know, I ta got to speak to him a little bit. Like, man, you know, it's gonna be an adjustment after 13 weeks in this. When you go back home, man, you're gonna want to really overindulge in things, man. That was my biggest problem. It's like. I just wanted to have fun all the time. I don't wanted my freedom all the time. I didn't want to ever go to practice. I didn't want to ever, you know, I just kind of, so I went the other way pretty hard. It was a hard rebound, so. But I'm, I'm getting back on track, man. So what other advice would you give uh, the two guys that beat from the championship uh, in the show on Friday night to expect once they're done with it? You've obviously won the show. What can you 
offer to the winner? Um, I would say take the money that you won and I would say uh, put it in a place that, that is going to really only aid in, in your fighting career. You know, like good food, good training equipment, because that's what's going to be next on the line for you is another fight. So don't spend it on things like, like cars, clothes, and things that are just like, they're not really down, they're not really, they're not going to help the cause. So I would say just take that money, put it in a place, go to a place where you know you're going to be the best you, and just spend all that money making the best you. Who cares if you spend every dime trying to be the best fighter, because then, you know, the chances are you're going to win another fight and make some more money, so. Eh, it might not be the best advice, but. <laughs> I didn't say good advice, just some advice. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about the matchup with Oliveira. I mean, this is, this is a pretty solid little fight we got here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, tough guy, man. Um, yeah, it's a tough, it's a tough opponent, man, and that's that's exactly you know what I have to be doing right now is fighting the tough opponents, man. So that's just how I look at it, man. I mean, there's so many little like hungry young dudes, man, in the, in the 145 pound division right now. So I'm not expecting an easy fight ever. So it's wide open though in the 145. Do you feel like that does that make you uh, more motivated to get to a shot here with a few put a string of victories together? Yeah, yeah, man. I'd love to. I'd love to get 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 a you know. Uh, a rematch. little win streak going, yeah, man, and, and a rematch and get me a, a title shot one day, see myself on a poster and, you know, I don't know, man, solidify myself with this company. That's really, it's really the goal, man, is to just be, you know, be a real serious part of this organization to where they say, you know, John, you put in work for us, man, you did a good job. You know, at the end, when it's all said and done, man, that's how I want to leave this thing. All these realizations that you came to, is this kind of stuff that you just had to learn for yourself or was there somebody that pulled you aside and kind of said, hey man, you, you kind of screwed up, this is the direction you need to be on? Uh, no, man, I, I had to learn it for myself, man. I had to screw up a ton of times. I had to have a lot of sleepless nights, man. Where I just was just like, man, what the heck is going on? I have good friends, though, man, that stuck by me. They've stuck through me, by me through way before the Ultimate Fighter, you know, and they're still around. So that's nice, man, because I can always... You know, they can always put me in check and, you know, they're nice gauges to see, like, you know, how I'm doing with my life, you know. The better I'm getting along with them, then that's probably a good possibility that I'm doing pretty good in my life and stuff. So, it's nice to have good good people around that, that kind of keep you grounded and stuff. So, that, that's, that's been nice. The former castmates are all doing well. I mean, we got a, we got quite a few still in there, man. Uh, Cody just won. Michael Johnson just won. Um, Bruce Leroy has won, but he, he had a really close match, so... I think that's that's four of us, man, that are still still in it, man. That's a pretty good uh, turnout for for how many? I don't know, 14 guys or something, man. So yeah, man, they're all doing great, man. I see them in their own, living their lives, you know. Like I said, going to places that make them feel good and training really hard, and uh, I'm proud of them, man. I'm proud of every single one of them, man. Even the guys that aren't still in the UFC, like Andy Maines, one of my good friends and guys that I really appreciate a lot, you know. He's, he's doing his thing too, so we, we, we had a pretty close cast, man. For those who feel enough is not enough and failure is not an option. For those, there's Gamma Labs pre-training formula, the next generation pre-workout supplement, a human enhancement formula designed to build a superior athlete. More power, more speed, more endurance, more mental focus, more of you.